Welcome to part two of the ZL1 1LE detailing series. So this video is going to be focused on the exterior of the car. The car is in pretty good shape. It's got ceramic coating and PPF. There's only 4,000 miles on the clock, uh, but it is kind of dirty. There are a lot of racing rubber marks uh, and also just general grime and dirt. So we'll be taking care of that. I'll show you the products I use and let's get right into the video. So these are the products that we'll be using today. So uh, I've got my coffee here and uh, that'll keep me going. Uh, but we'll first address the racing rubber marks with Mother's R3 ra racing rubber remover. You spray it on, it'll wipe the marks right off, it's great. We'll do the wheels and tires with Simple Green and also the exhaust tips. Then we'll wash the car. I prefer Meguiar's Gold Class Car Wash. It's an oldie but goodie and it's not too expensive. The, the new thing in my arsenal here is the Adams Polishes Microfiber Wash Sponge. This is 10 inches, it's premium microfiber. It, it's got just a uh, string so it can't really trap grit. Uh, it's, it's very thick so it can really hold a lot of wash water. Uh, it really cuts wash time. It is a little large for small areas, but I, I have another wash mitt that I use for door handles and things like this. This is a really great product. And then we'll finish off with the Meguiar's water magnets uh, just to dry the car. So even on the flat black, you can see like here's a good example of a racing rubber mark. Uh, there is a product that I'll show you that'll take that right off, but you can see there's quite a few. There's another one on the PPF. This uh, shadow gray metallic is really great. It's really outstanding to see the difference between the flat black and the, the painted surfaces. Um, I've got another racing rubber mark. Um, and then it's pretty good otherwise. Uh, the ceramic coating is supposed to really uh, reduce the amount of maintenance that's required. Uh, you, can, you can see that there isn't a lot of stuff on the paint. We did go through a torrential rainstorm when we were bringing the car back. So uh, it really kind of blasted it. Uh, we'll also take the, the decals off and we'll, we'll get it all shined up. All right, so this is how the R3 works. You just shake it up a little bit. You just spray a little, two or three sprays on the rag. And then you can see this mark right here. We'll just gently wipe it and you can see it came right off we'll wipe off the excess with the clean side there's still a little bit more there we go across it a little bit let's see it just really came right off that's why this is such a great product so and then we'll want to use some clean water to wipe off any of the remaining product There you go. And like I said, we'll just use Simple Green on the uh, wheels and uh, also the exhaust It's real easy, just wet them, spray them. And this is really diluted Simple Green. You don't need a whole lot here. And then just use an old wash mitt. Uh, doesn't really need to be really great because wheels are pretty tough. Just make sure to get it in between all the spokes and crevices. And do not let this, let anything dry. You can also hit the uh, sidewall of the tire. And then just spray it off. Also, I want to just get inside the exhaust tips and around the outside of the exhaust tips with Simple Green. You can just take the wash mitt and just kind of stab your hand in there. 
The exhaust tips on Z01s get very, very black because they run very, very rich from the factory with a factory tune in order to protect the catalytic converter. So they run like a 10 and a half to one air fuel ratio. So it's got some, uh, some kind of deposits, some coking on the, uh, or tarnishing on the outside of this tip. Uh, I'll have a, uh, another tip on how to get rid of that later, but the simple green is not going to, not going to take care of that right now. So we kind of ran out of the shade in our driveway and we don't want to wash the car in direct sunlight. So we're going to do just a, some additional detail. I'm going to get the stickers off of it. Uh, we'll, we'll do a few little cleaning and then we're going to wait till uh, this evening and we'll, we'll finish and wash the car. If I looked at it, these stickers have been on for a very, very long time, maybe since 2019. So uh, we're going to get the vinyl off and then we're going to have to use some WD-40 or some other cleaner to remove the uh, adhesive. So WD-40 works pretty well. Um, also, 50-50 uh, isopropyl alcohol um, works very well. Yeah, this, this adhesive is stuck on here good. So uh, we may even have to use a razor blade to get a little bit of it off. Yeah, that's a mess. Yeah, great. Yeah, these are the, the basically the stickers are are basically coming apart. So I I really don't recommend leaving contingency stickers on the car uh, on a street car um, o after the season's over. It's better just to put a new set on because I mean, look, this is just all still stuck on there. So we'll just use good old WD-40, a rag. You don't want to get this all over the place. I'm going to spray it over here away from the car. You do want to use a pretty substantial amount. And what it does is it actually is a solvent. And then when the adhesive kind of rolls up, the oil keeps it from reattaching. But yeah, this is going to take a, a lot of work. I think I may actually get one of the, um, chemical guy sponges out on this because really we need to saturate this stuff let it kind of soak in and then uh, obviously we're going to have to use uh, glass cleaner or simple green or something like that to get the oil off the windshield so i'm very glad we're doing this before we're washing the car yeah that's starting to with a little bit greater volume the wd-40 it's starting to do its magic. So, uh, you know, WD-40 has a lot of uses. It's uh, not old school. It's, it's great for removing adhesives uh, and, and uh, on, on rust and all kinds of things. Don't be afraid to use it. It's, it's even okay on paint. So we'll uh, use the diluted simple green and just try to get all this WD-40 and stuff off the windshield. You don't really want to get on uh, simple green on the paint because it is a degreaser and it will strip wax. It won't hurt a ceramic coat, but it will get normal wax right off which is fine if that's what you want to do but so we'll be using the mcguire's gold class wash we'll be doing a tr uh, traditional two bucket uh, method where one has a wash water and one is a rinse and we'll be using the adams polishes 10 inch uh, wash mitt so let's get right to it
So first we're gonna just spray the car down, get any loose dirt or debris off. Like I said, this car is ceramic coated. So look at all that water beating. So we're just gonna do one panel at a time. Like I said, it doesn't take too many passes with this big wash mitt. And we'll just go in direct, uh, we'll go in straight, not in circular motion. And that way, if you do have something that scratches the paint, linear scratches are much easier to polish out than swirls. You want to flip frequently and then also we want to use our wash bucket to, to wash off any contaminants and then get more soap. Soap is cheap, water is cheap, paint is expensive, so keep your mitt clean. So we're done with the wash. We'll use the uh, Meguiar's water magnets. We'll uh, use two, we'll use one for the big water and then the, the second one to just dry the uh, residual. Also, you need to make sure you get the bottom of the 1LE spoiler because it will hold water. The front grill on a 1LE is always challenging to get the water out, so I do the uga uga method. And there's no way to get it all out, so just gonna do the best you can and then use spray detailer for any water spots that are gonna be on the uh, front valence. So about five hours of exterior and interior detailing and it's well worth it. So hope you enjoyed this video and if you have some different ideas on how to detail your Camaro ZL1 1LE, please leave it in the comments below. And as always, please like and subscribe. It supports the Racing for ALS channel and we'll see you on the next video. I'm supposed to feel